All right, in today's video, we are gonna be fixing this Vizio M65-D0. And what's been happening is uh, we think it's a power supply issue. And uh, we have a little light down here that will flicker on when you hit the power button, but then slowly fade out. This is actually gonna be a fairly simple fix that most of you can do. You're gonna need a couple of uh, tools, and we're gonna show you how to do that right now. Okay, so here is our new power supply board. Like I said, I got this on eBay for $30 shipped. It was actually $20 and then $10 in shipping. This is a used board, but again, uh, as far as the descriptions go, everything looks like it's working great. You can actually buy this on Amazon as well, and I'll put a link in the description box below if you'd like to get it off of Amazon. Otherwise, the only other tools we're gonna need are a couple of Phillips head screwdrivers. You actually only need one, but I'm gonna have my brother helping me. There's quite a few screws in the back of the TV that we're gonna need to take off. And um, that's about it. Let's go ahead and get started. So this is going to be our work table for the evening. Again, much to the chagrin of my beautiful wife, we're using our dining room table. It's about the only thing that's going to be able to fit this huge TV. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some towels down here and lay the TV face down so we can access the back of the TV. Again, if you have a workspace in the garage or whatever, it's great. Just make sure you protect the hard surface with some sort of a towel or something so we don't get scratches on the actual TV. Okay, the dogs are being nice and chill, allowing us to do our project here. So we've got the TV again face down now up on our work table. These are aftermarket stands that uh, were put in. So we're going to be removing these screws because, again, they're down inside the back of the TV holding it to the actual metal that's inside. If you don't have these aftermarket stands, then most likely you'll have to get these little original stands. They'll be sticking out of here and then obviously on the other end. And those are just a couple of uh, Phillips head screws too that you pull out and then the stand will actually come out this way. And again, you need to remove those so that they're not embedded into the metal on the TV because we are going to be taking this entire back piece out of the TV to access the old board. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and start attacking these little Phillips head. We're going to get those uh, all removed and we'll be back with you here shortly. All right, so we have the stands removed. The next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be removing all of these little screws that go along the outside edge of the TV. Now, one handy trick is as you're going along to place the screws in a similar pattern kind of up here above where you're working. And this just helps you keep track of all your screws and help you remember the specific order that those screws went in. Okay, so we've been working our way around the TV. And uh, don't forget over kind of the main input board right here, You've got one, two, three screws there. And then over here by the, uh, the power uh, cord, you've got another one that's down in there. Okay, so we have all of our screws out. And you can see we've laid them out in a nice little pattern here to help us remember where they go back in. And now it's time to actually remove this large plastic piece. Now it's going to be separated from your front screen right here. This is where you need to be careful. Uh, I'm going to have my brother actually demonstrate how to separate this. And again, what we don't want to do is go ripping this thing off because there are wires that connect this back piece to the boards inside. So again, all we're looking to do is get in here and separate this back piece from the main front area. Okay, so this is on the other side here. What he's going to do is use the, uh, the stand hole to get a little bit of leverage. And as you pull up, this actually will lift up pretty easily the first part. Now again, you can use that seam to slowly work your way around the TV popping it off of the clips that hold it into that front metal piece. So again, it can get a little tight, just be very careful, be very cautious. If you wanna get a screwdriver in there and use that to pry a little bit, you just wanna be very careful during this stage not to go ripping things. Okay, so this corner came up really easily for us. This one needed a little bit of prying. Now again, this plastic is really thin and uh, it could break very easily. It's held in by some clips. So again, just don't go ripping this thing. You may have to use a little bit of prying on that side, at least we did for us. And then once you kind of have this, you can again, very gently, it's kind of come in here. I want to show you there's some wiring. You see this? This wire that goes down from here all the way down to main board. This is again one of those reasons you don't want to just yank this thing directly off. 
So what we're gonna do is actually just disconnect that. There's a little clip that's down here on the main board and it actually just pops right out really easily. So we're gonna disconnect that and then we're gonna take off this back piece. So that just took a little bit of popping and as you can see that entire thing is going to lift right off now giving us access to all of our boards. The board that we're most interested in tonight obviously is this power supply. This is where we think there's been a short, a problem, and we're going to need to replace the board so the power could actually be given over to the TV for long periods of time. Okay, I'm on the side of the TV now so we can get a, a better look at this board. This board is held in by a few screws. So we've got a couple right here on the edge, uh, looking over here on this edge as well. It looks like there's three there. We've got one right here in the middle, and uh, these two may need, it looks like they need to come out too because they're kind of attached to this bottom bracket thing here. So a few screws, we'll give the Phillips, and then there's only a couple of wires that are attached here. You've got this guy, and we have this one that's over here. So we're gonna pull those guys off first and then pull off our Phillips. So these guys can be kind of tricky. There's a couple of tabs. You can use the end of a screwdriver to just press in and then gently pull out. So those guys will, will pull out. You can, again, just let it sit over there on the side. We're going to do the same thing with this guy over here. Again, both sides, you just can kind of dig that little screwdriver in, gently pull it back. Okay, next we're going to use our Phillips head screwdriver to pull out all of the Phillips head screws that are in here. Again, we'll probably do the same thing, make a little pattern over here on the, the right side of the board uh, just to remember where all these go. Okay, once you have your Phillips head screwdrivers out, you can kind of gently pull this up. There will be kind of a heat uh, pad that's underneath the, uh, the power supply board. That remains in place unless for some reason it's damaged and you need to get a new one, but leave that uh, the way it is. And we are now ready to put our new board back into place. Okay, this is our new board. Again, uh, it goes in the exact same way that it was taken out. You can see there's these three heat sinks that are up top. Those are the things that are going to be going on top of the TV. Again, I'm standing uh, with the TV face down on the left-hand side. So those three uh, heat sinks are going to be up top. We're just going to replace those Phillips head uh, screws back right where we took them out. Okay, we've got all of our Phillips head screws in, and we're going to reconnect these two little power clips, that one on the top here and then one on that, uh, that side. These, again, are pretty easy. You basically just line it up and pop them in. You'll hear a little click, and you're good to go. Okay, so once we have our, your new board back in, basically just remember to connect up the control panel uh, from the back plastic piece onto the main board. And uh, that's only internal wire. Again, once you have that in place, you can basically reverse the steps and snap all the clips back in this plastic piece Then make sure you get all of your little screws back in. We won't bore you with that part. Uh, basically, that is the process for replacing this power supply board. If that is not the issue with your TV, then the other uh, thing specifically for this model, and uh, we have a lot of issues we hear about with main boards. So that'd be the other issue that you potentially have to, uh, to change out is that main board. All right, thanks for watching. I hope this has helped you a little bit. Uh, again, this is like a potentially a $30 fix. It's a great thing to at least try, um, especially with these big, large, expensive TVs. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe and like button, and we'll see you guys again in the next video.